Hello everybody. So today is a day in which I really don't know what to do to feel productive. So what's one good way to feel productive? Make yourself feel beautiful. And that's not what I've been feeling recently. So I thought it would be a good idea to either one, show you how I do my makeup and two, try out a new makeup style. I feel like I haven't really experimented too hard with my makeup because I don't really like wasting my makeup as in like using it when I don't go out which isn't really a good room for experimentation because I don't really go out that much especially with makeup on so I left not much room for like improvement I'm also kind of too scared to venture off because I feel like there's really only one general look that suits me which I think would be like the Korean like doe eyed type thing but recently when my friend was over, she said something along the lines of like, oh, fox eye would suit you. And I was like, hmm. I've always wanted to look more cool rather than cute, but I can't and it doesn't work out. So we're gonna try it out today. And you may be wondering, what's with this setup? Why are you in your room with a really embarrassing poster behind you? Well, that's because I don't want to film this in my bathroom. It's because every muscle in my body right now currently hurts. My arms, my legs, that's it. Those are very essential for things like walking around and standing up. So this is my current setup. Me, my bed, a pillow, my mirror, which is on top of my fake nail box, on top of my tissue box, and my makeup stuff. I'm going to start by clipping back my bangs. I feel like my bangs have been like my worst enemy, but also like my best friend because they're cute and very easy to maintain. But at the same time, my bangs in particular are a pain in the ass to maintain because they don't like to listen. Another thing that's going to be special about today's makeup routine is that I actually have a foundation. And the reason why I got this is because there's this Mac store in the mall I was at. And on the thing, it wrote that there are free samples. So I was like, yes. I need that. The issue is, I swatched it using the back of my hand and the lady only after she got it for me told me that like, oh, like if you want a color match, you should generally use right here. We're gonna have to work with what we have. I kind of want to do the thing where like one side of my face is one thing, one side of my face is the other thing. I think I may. There's two types of makeup that I usually do. There's like the super easy, super simple type makeup. And then there's a, a little bit more glam. And I'm gonna go for a little bit more glam. And the way you know that I'm going a little more glam is that I'm using concealer. This was a concealer that I bought in Taiwan for $6. And it works pretty well. But actually, I'm gonna start with trying the foundation first and I'm just gonna see if it even matches my skin color. I think that's pretty good to the age. Mm -hmm. How are we feeling? I don't have a beauty blender or a cushion or anything so we're just gonna have to go with my finger. Okay, maybe I do need to turn on the lights in my room. Is this better? I think I'm a little too bright. This is the best we're gonna get, okay? So this is the side with no foundation. And this is the side with foundation. So now for this side, we're gonna do what I usually do, which is just concealer. I just kinda put it where I think there's like some dark areas and then I just smudge it around. Can you tell the difference? Do you feel, are you feeling it? To be honest, with my shitty lighting in my room right now, I can't really tell the difference. Maybe I will have to film this in my bathroom. Welcome to a setting change. I feel like the concealer is really like, matching and like brightening my skin. They look the fucking so same, you idiot. I would do my forehead, but I don't really see the point since I have bangs. I generally go in with liner because I mess up my liner a lot. And the issue is both of my eyes like crease unevenly. So then I have to draw them differently, which sucks. So on one eye, I'm gonna use my usual one. 
the other one, I'm gonna try a different one. But it's gonna look really stupid. I already know it. Call it a day there. So what I do is I just draw a straight line starting from the center of my eye out until it hits my crease and then I go out from there. Make a pack. Yes. You in fact do not put the rest of the beauty in the fridge. Oopsies. Okay, now I'm gonna Google what a fox eye looks like. Okay, based on my very quick Pinterest search, it's very like, you know. To be honest, I'm not really sure how it's gonna work because my eyes are very like, I always saw them as more round rather than like sharp. I think it'll work. Hmm. We're just gonna go with that for now. If I really hate it, I'll get rid of it. I can't do this anymore. Something that always fixes your eyeliner if it looks really janky is eyeshadow. This is the palette that I use. And it's the Romand Better Than Palette Rosebud Garden. And it is an OG. I'm just gonna start with this light color all over my lid. And I like to go a little bit under too, just to get like a general color. I think a big issue I had is that I kind of put eyeshadow on my face like recklessly because Asian palettes are not that pigmented. So it won't kill me to put it everywhere. But that also kind of made my makeup look a little sloppy. I'm just gonna gradually start getting darker and like filling it in closer to my lash line. Particularly with like this color or this color, I'm gonna go like right here. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Next, I'm going in with poop brown. Soft moth. It like softens up the eyeliner like a lot because obviously I'm putting pigment over it. And I'm going with the darkest one. I'm putting that really close to like the line in the corner of my eye. This side, I don't really know what to do. I think I'm gonna go with like just dark, with just the browns. I'm also doing it, putting the darkest brown on my lower lash line to help blend this area over. I also have this other CoverGirl palette, but I don't use it as much. This is gonna go in with brown. I think that's the best it's gonna get. Moving on. One side, other side. Up next, this is a brown liner that I got from Taiwan. It's a media liquid eye eyebrow. I thought this was an eyeliner, but it works really well. If I could, I would definitely line my eyes with black, like a black liner, but I don't have that. So next, we're gonna go with a man's best friend. I just take this and then put it on my waterline. I put it here and then I avoid the middle and then I put it here. If you're like, oh, why do you avoid the middle area? I don't know, I just do. Now it's time for the start of the show. Something so revolutionary and so important. It's highlighter. Highlighter changes the game. It makes you glow. So I start classically on my nose, on my bridge, cheek. No, I'm shining. I'm shining. Tiny brush, get some highlighter, and then I put it on my Hikyosaw area. I also put some on my inner corner. To be honest, this eye was not successful like at all. Lips. Lips are gonna be the same because I'm a baddie. I start with the Ink Velvet 31. Then I take this mystery, I mean Mimi, some color, I don't know. And I put it towards the middle. I take the left of my finger and then I dot it right on the center here. And for this one, I'm gonna try putting it up here. I 
generally just take my finger, roll it in the highlighter, and then on the cupid's bow. This is probably the stupidest idea I've ever had. Oh my goodness. So this is what it looks like with my hair down. Okay, we're going to start with one side of the face. We're going to do my usual. This is what my makeup usually looks like. It's very subtle. Generally, it doesn't really show up on camera because of, yeah, but this is what it usually looks like. And now, this is the other one, which does not look that good, but you can't help it. This is my first time, okay? And this is what they look like together. It's very conflicting. This one looks much better on camera than it does in person. If I squint like this, it looks much better because I have like, like this eye. My eyes are usually like this. That's what I imagine I would look like if I posed awkwardly on camera. I'm gonna just put my face in the water. Water to use. My cellular water. I heavily applaud people who wear makeup to school every single day. Cause that is something that I'm not capable of doing. I can barely wake up on time to make breakfast. See that? That's basically it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.